What is up people of YouTube? I'm your host Vernon. This is Boulder City Pond. Let's fish that. Alright guys, this pond has been hit quite hard since they stocked it with trout. Uh, so I'm out here today to see if I can find some of these trout still around. And of course, based on the thumbnail you guys saw, you probably already know that this video is about trout magnets. Now, why trout magnets? So quite recently, I made a post on my social media page and one of my followers actually commented on my post asking, how do you fish a trout magnet? Now, initially my reaction was, um, I don't know, because let's be honest, I was never taught how to use trout magnets. It's something that I had to pick up myself um, by just casting it out there. So then I realized by trial and error, I actually kind of did figure out some ways to fish with it, whether it's the correct way, I don't know. So the idea behind this video is sharing with you guys the knowledge I have gained from using these little trout magnets in the different ways and styles that I do that. So I want to show you guys this and hopefully you can learn something from it. Okay, but let's start by looking at the trout magnets. Okay, so these are the little trout magnets. They come in all different varieties and different colors. It's just a little weighted hook. Uh, you buy a hook like this. Uh, they give you two hooks in a packet and some little grubs. Uh, you get these in all sorts of colors, uh, pink, green, yellow. And then of course, they have different colors for the hooks as well. And then you have some brands making their own style or variant of the normal trout magnet. So when rigging up your little trout magnet, you end up with something like this, uh, where you have the little paddly tail type thing on your trout magnet. And this is where we have the question now, how to fish with this little thing? Is it something that swims in the water like a bait fish? Is it something that you move on the ground like a leech? Or is there some other way to move these little things? And that's where I want to talk about the versatility of these little trout magnets and how you can modify them and do different things with them. Okay, so this is a little jig head. Our little trout magnet is just a miniature version of our little jig head. That means we can use our trout magnet in the same way uh, as a little jig by jigging it around or as a little bait fish imitation swimming around, meaning you can do both with our little trout magnet but there's more to the trout magnet than just that it's difficult to see but uh, the little trout magnet has a flat face on the little lead weight in front there and that kind of reminds me of something like this this is our little net rig uh, hooks and weights that we have and you can use a trout magnet in the same way by standing it upright and moving it on the ground or bumping it on the ground meaning that it's not just a swimming thing it's something you can crawl on the bottom as well now, as i mentioned these little trout baits come in all different colors we have a little watermelon green with the red flakes i have a little yellow one and the white and chartreuse and like i said they come in pink and all different colors you need to find the colors that work in your waters if you don't put on the actual trout magnet, uh, the piece of plastic, uh, you can always try and find something different. Over here I have some paddle tail worms. Uh, this is a very nice thing to put on the little trout magnets with this little paddle tail. But this does not bounce on the ground. This you have to swim. So this is fast retrieve through the water. The little tail kicks. I've yet to get any bites with this on the ground. It's only once I'm swimming this that I do get bites on that. Sticking with the idea of little paddle tails, you can also do something like this. I have a little tadpole plastic on here, also has a nice little kicking action. This again works better when swimming or jigging uh, rather than just swimming it through the water. This one actually works better when erratically jigging it through the water with that tail kicking. Okay, so this little trout magnet obviously has lots of different uses depending on the type of gear you put on there. For instance, I have on this one a little tube uh, creating a little squid-like tube thing. 
this is a great thing to use if you have something like gobies in your waters again this is something that you're going to drop down pick up and drop down and yet some more versatility on this if we put on something like a crawl imitation on our little trout magnet now we have a little crawl that we can fish on the bottom of course you can use all sorts of different types of plastics on here i have a little cricket as well uh, that's just a weird funny thing if i'm not getting bites on anything else i will try this to see maybe if they will go for a bigger juicier meal if perhaps they're used to having crickets in the water and another favorite of mine to throw on a little trout magnet is something like this it's a little dragonfly nymph uh, the fish love going for these so i love putting them on trout magnets as well and throwing them out there then another type of plastic that i love throwing on my little trout magnets is something like these we have our little mice tails and just some normal power worms or trout worms without the little ball on there it's just a little tail putting a little worm imitation uh, gives you the versatility of having a worm on the ground that you can bounce around and that's what i've been using lately to catch some trout these little worms bouncing on the ground and that's what we're going to start off today with to see if we can find some fish out there all right guys i made my way to the other side of the pond uh, on the far side over there i think that's east um, that's actually where they stock the trout that's why there's no one around on this side doing the fishing because the fish are still in that area around there but i quickly wanted to explain a few things i don't want to be in between the other fishermen spoiling their fishing experience while just talking to myself so that's why i'm on this side to quickly explain a few things <clears throat> so when i use a little trout magnet with a little paddle tail or something something that i want to have swimming around in the water column i would use something like my light setup it's rather flexible easy to cast out um, and it helps with the swimming but if i want to go down to the bottom act like an injured fish or a leech or something like that um, the light setup does not work for that because it, the rod is so bendable and everything a lot of times uh, the fish, fish already grabbed your lure and spit it out long before i can actually set the hook so you need a bit more of a stiffer rod to do that that's why i'm using this small little rod of mine the this is a much stiffer rod gives me a better chance of setting the hook when the fish grabs my lure and on my little setup at the end here we have our little trout magnet i have a little yellow worm imitation on my trout magnet at the moment and a few feet above that i have a little split shot now the reason for the split shot is simply just to give a bit more weight just to cast it out there this also helps letting it sink to the bottom yes the trout magnet has its own little weight on there but this extra weight just helps to get it down on the bottom and then you just jig it around on the bottom now what size split shot should you use well obviously having bigger split shot means that you can cast it out further however um, if you're in a pond where you have lots of algae or trees or leaves down on the bottom uh, using a smaller split shot is better because you don't want your setup to get snagged on anything down there in this pond here at boulder city um, we have some algae growing on the bottom but nothing major no long strands or something like that so i'm using a bit of a bigger lead weight on there to get further distance out there as the fish aren't in shallow at the moment they're a bit deeper because we're having some warmer temperatures so they're staying away from the shallower water moving a bit in deeper all right so then i'm just going to cast it out let it sink to the bottom and slowly jig the little worm imitation on the ground to see if we can get any fish like that
a small fish out there. Yeah. But it's free. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to show you guys the diversity of the little trout magnets, whether you'll be using some worm imitations or using some paddle tails for swimming or the normal trout magnet or even using some creature imitations down on the bottom, whether you're jigging it on the bottom, jigging it mid-column, swimming it through the water. These little trout magnets are quite diverse in the way you can fish them, so I don't believe there is one single way of saying this is how you need to fish them you need to experiment with your little trout magnets and find what works for you and more importantly find what the fish want now as a reward for watching this little video all the way till this part uh, this pond i don't know whether it is the blue color in the water or why but these fish in these waters seem to prefer yellow whether it was a little yellow trout magnet or yellow or a yellow rat tail or the yellow paddle tail for some reason these fish in this pond prefer the yellow bait all right but i hope you guys learned something from this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up or if you just enjoyed it or just love the scenery around here just give me a little thumbs up for that feel free to ask anything down in the comments and please do tell me how do you use trout magnets or do you use trout magnets at all if you're new to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button join my community and have a look on my channel see what other videos i have out there and what other places i show you okay but that's going to be a wrap on this video i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you next time